there's a compass we just built. Um, a great project for both geometry class, algebra class, shop classes. A lot of nice features on this compass. You could use it as both a straight edge and as a compass for drawing circles and arcs. It works great both in the classroom for math, drafting, and it also works out on the job site as a layout tool. Okay, let me go over the branch of geometry called constructions. The first construction we're going to do is a perpendicular bisector. If I have line AB and I want to find the perpendicular bisector between those two points, I use my compass. It has to be set greater than the midpoint. I draw an arc. Then I create the same arc from the other point. Then once I have those two arcs created, I use a straight edge to connect the points of intersection. And there's my perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular mean at a right angle. Bisector meaning that this line segment AC is the same length as segment CB. A uh, really good way to do use this is to draw an altitude of a triangle. So if I have a triangle and I want to create an exact altitude of that triangle I could use my compass to do that. I'll draw in two arcs equidistance from the top vertex. So there's one arc. There's the other one. Those are points equidistant from the vertex. And then from these points, I create another set of arcs. I'm actually just creating a perpendicular bisector between these two points. Now that I have those, I use my straight edge and connect those points, and that's how I create an altitude of a triangle. Altitude is always perpendicular to the base. Area of any triangle is base times height, which is the altitude, divided by 2. That's how you draw altitude of a triangle. Then the next Uh, geometric construction is an angle bisector. So I'm going to draw an angle. Use my compass to create an arc across that angle. These will be all points equidistant from the vertex. Create another set of arcs in those points intersection then use my straight edge to connect the vertex of my angle through that point of intersection. That's my angle bisector. So this angle here is congruent to this angle here. Or if I have points on it, angle A, B, C is congruent to angle C, B, D. Uh, a lot of constructions, we'll just start with those for now.